FNN。Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight, or internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay,、uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look here at the German DAX here on a longer-term basis. That's a four-hour chart. That pattern that you're looking at is a one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle, also known as the T6, a reverse point wave.、Uh, the T6 came right out of、uh, Gartley's book、uh, on different patterns that he's looking at. But what we want to do now is we want to take an updated view of what's happened to that today because it's had a A pretty significant drawdown. Now that does、uh, sell off, but we'll see. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, hey, Bubba, Jimmy, Bubba, don't don't refer me to that. Like, okay, I'm just just I'm just old country boy from from old Ironwood,、uh, Indiana, from Terre Haute, Indiana. I ain't no king and nothing. So <laughs> the king was Elvis and Michael Jackson. But、uh, anyway, that's it. I work hard at this, and that's、uh, but. Anyway, let's take a look at that. You'll see here that that sold off quite a bit. Now, Tommy was on the show just saying that the Dow had about a 170 point rally after being down over 200, almost 300 points, and、uh, came back, which is not unusual. That that market has been has been pretty strong. And one of the things that we referred to、uh, this week, of course, was looking at that Dow Jones. If we look at it from、uh, a A、um, yeah, I'm a yeah. That that is that part's true, Jimmy. Let's take a look here. This is the Dow Jones on a daily going back to May. The two things to remember: you'll see the ABCD pattern that ended on June 21st. That was absolute perfect, and all we did on Friday was to make that 1.27 expansion of that. And of course, we were down, and then we've come back a little bit. So there may or may not be some type of a significant high in here. We we don't really know, but、uh, it has a possibility of doing that. Now the news has been. Uh, rather dramatic, as you can imagine. If you've been anywhere close to a TV or a radio, all you've heard about is、uh, Afghanistan and、um, all the other stands that are around there. But how this is going to unfold, I don't know. Someone who I really respect、uh, over in the Middle East、uh, from Egypt says there will not be very little fighting from now on in、um, Afghanistan. He said, now that the Americans are out, he said that's what they wanted and that's what they wanted to get. And the The country that wanted them out is of unknown、uh, access at this time, but it starts with a C, ends with an A. Let's move on to、uh, something else here that we need to talk about, and that is the FTSE because it's coming up here with some pretty good moves too. We had a pretty significant sell-off in the FTSE here today, and we'll be watching it here、uh, to see what's going to happen.、Uh, by the way, I will have two special guests on the trading、uh, thing on Thursday. Um, John Jamison is going to join us, and also Trader Tom,、uh, Tom Hugard will be、uh, joining us.、Uh, I think we'll have John on because he's、uh, he he's talks quite a bit about the cryptos. Remember, folks, in 1981 there was a man named William Gibson. He wrote a book,、uh, I think, called Johnny Mnemonic. Not Johnny Mnemonic, which not very much, but he he was the man who coined cyber face, cyberspace, about what was going to happen to,、uh, you know, the.、Um, Uh, the computer industry, and he wrote this in, in the book in 19. Remember 1981. He said by 19 by by 2021, he said none of your data will be safe. He said everything on telephones and all this other stuff. He said will be in danger. So this he wrote this 40 years ago, folks, and、uh, that was the book that made、uh, John go into computers when he was just a young man, 24 years old. So we're going to talk a little bit, very very short segment. On the cryptos because、uh, he was on、uh, back in September of last year and he recommended Cardano at six cents a share and of course it went to two、uh, fifty. It's trading at around two ten right now, so you know that's a heck of a heck of a move. Anyway, let's get back to some of these other things that we need to talk about.、Uh, one of which, of course, is going to be the gold market. I do believe we're going to be、uh, moving higher in gold.、Uh, we got up to the seventeen. Uh, 87 level. It's a very significant level, but it's got a chance to go a, a bit higher. 
And I think that if we look at this uh, on a, hold on one second, I'll get it up here so that we can see it on a four hour, you'll be able to see that we'll have a chance here to get this up here just a tiny bit higher and then we're going to have the sell off. This is going to be, uh, you, you, you flat got it right, Mr. Z, you done, you done broke the code, Bubba. That's exactly right. The old yellow brick road called the belt. Anyway, let's take a look here. You see the 1800 level right there, folks? That's a 78% retracement of the high that we made from way back in, uh, in July. Plus, it's a 61% retracement of a high farther back. So that's where we're we're treading around 1787 right now, and that's you know that that be, really looks like where it really wants to go. This might be the start of the big bull market in gold, folks. It's got a high probability of doing that. Whether it's going to happen or not, all I know is, you know, we've been very very bullish. Silver went right down to where we thought it was going to. Let's take a quick look at silver on a uh, shorter time frame here, and uh, we. And then we'll move on. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. I'll be doing, I'll be doing two shows today, folks. I'll be setting in for Tom O'Brien at 12 o'clock, also. So if you have any, uh, any problems with any, <laughs> if you have any questions, you know, let me know. Okay, this is the the silver market. You'll notice here. Uh, this is just over the last few days. We went right down to that 23 level that we talked about. You know, so much we got to 22.98, and you know, um, you know, we, we've we've had a huge rally here. You know, five a dollar a barrel, a dollar a barrel, a dollar an ounce, and it looks like we're going to go heading a lot higher with a profit objective somewhere up around 24 and change. The gold is moving rapidly, as you see. We had that little pullback, a beautiful 382 pull, 382 pullback, and those are the kind of trades we're going to be focusing on when we do the live trading. The live trading thing is basically to give you free information because we hope to uh, make some money. We've done three of these shows. They've all done well as far as uh, being profitable. We're going to do a couple of stocks, of course, for those of you that do stocks, and then we'll be focusing on other patterns and other things that we're looking at that will give us a better chance to see what we're going to be looking at. Mr. Z is asking a question. Who constructed the Pesavento pattern software? Mr. Z, I paid somebody just shy of a hundred grand to do this. He tried for a year and a half. A guy here in Tucson, an expert specialist, he couldn't do it. And I was complaining to John and Howard Arrington about it. And he said, uh, tell us what you want. And they did it over a weekend for no charge. And that's where the Pesavento patterns came from. It was basically a replication of what Bryce Gilmore did with his wave trader. The wave trader was the one that gave me the idea for it because that's how I got the butterfly pattern. And that's how all those other things came together. Bryce Gilmore, he was the one that lit the tree for me, folks. I mean, you know, John Hill got me started and stuff, but uh, it wasn't, it, it was 1988, you know, after I'd written the, the Astro Cycles book that I met Bryce. And uh, we were in Chicago. I remember one of my students came up because you got to come in and listen to this guy. And so I walked over to the room there and I walked in. I was at the back of the room and he recognized me. I didn't know him from Adam. And he said, hey, Larry Pesavento's in the room. Why don't you come up here in the front of the room and sit down and learn something? And everybody was laughing. So I walked up and I sat down and boy, did I start to learn. Shut the front door and raise the rent. We'll be right back. rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, I posted the chart of Tesla up here. This would be a good description of what the software that Bryce Gilmore did call the wave trade. Now, it doesn't have the same colors, and it doesn't you know, show in all the, uh, uh, the, the uh, triangles and stuff. But what, what, the, what the software did was when you came up with three ratios at the same time, like 786, 1.414, 618, whatever the ratios were, it would scale it. In other words, it would give you a, a, a scale between one and ten and when you got to a ten that meant that all the ratios were complete just like on this thing with uh, uh, Tesla here on Friday you notice that it made it exact to the tick I mean within just a dollar of the exact 786 at 73075 it took out the high from July the high from July by 50 cents a $700 stock Boy, when you see that, I mean, there is no supply up there at all. So that was a signal to, well, you had to be looking at the short side. And of course, it's down quite a bit today. Anyway, that software would give you uh, all these scales from 1 to 10. The, the difference was is uh, when it was at a 10 and it, and it stayed there and just kept moving, oh, my God, those were the best trades of all because they were going to go a lot higher or a lot lower. I can remember one of my, in fact, I'll get Steve Shapiro to come on one of these days to, you know, reiterate the story. But Steve and I and Bryce were, were trading bonds and he was getting ready to go play golf. And it was a just like a just like a pattern here in Tesla we were looking at. It was setting right there at 730. And uh, we were trying to sell the bonds at whatever the number was. Uh, was well, the last two digits was 0304. And he said, sell, uh, sell it at 03. And sell me six bonds at 03 and, uh, you know, put a stop at 04. And I said, you can't put an order in like that. I said, that's the largest commodity we were trading. I said, they'll take that out in a heartbeat. He said, put the order in. If I get filled, I'm going to take all these books that I have. I'm going out to that pier in front of the house, and I'm throwing them in the Pacific Ocean. I'm going to go down to Los Angeles, buy a few sports cars, take them back to, to um, Australia, and continue selling exotic sports cars. And I said, <laughs> okay, if that's what you want to do. So so I put the order in. Of course, I didn't put it in at, at 04. It took a long time to get filled at 03, but we finally got filled at 03, and he was getting ready to go play, play golf. He was down under uh, by the garage, and uh, it was a little balcony there. And uh, he said, where are the bonds trading? And they had dropped. They dropped. They went from 03. They dropped down to about 16 ticks. 
and which is about five hundred dollars and he had six of them on which was uh you know uh three thousand dollars and he said uh okay take the profit and i said are you sure and he said yeah and so i said okay and i made called him back yep you're out anyway we go back to dinner that night i hadn't seen him since he came back and stuff the whole bunch of us went to dinner at one of our favorite places i didn't have the heart to tell him that Bond dropped two full handles that day. I waited till in the morning, and he asked, why didn't you tell me at dinner? And I said, I just didn't want to spoil your dinner. And he said, you're right, it would have. But he never told me why it was so important. And uh, he, he just never shared. Every time I asked him about it, he would just smile. So that's pretty much you know, what we're looking at. But he was definitely a very, very smart dude and helped us a great deal. But that's where that comes from. It's very helpful, but you know, it's like all the other tools here, folks. The most, the most important tool that you have, folks, is the mirror. Just look into the mirror, and if you can get that cycle from your left ear to your right ear right, the rest of it is pretty, pretty easy. Well, it's never easy. Trading is simple, but it's not easy. That's for sure. Now, we have to give a big heads up here to... Uh, uh, Ruby in here because she's been very bullish sugar for a long time and we we mentioned once it went above 18 the next time you know uh, sugar has just broken out big time now we've jumped up above 20 without uh, any trouble at all and so it's been uh, still running I the next level of course you're looking at there is could be 24 without any trouble at all uh, there's a lot of discussion in the news about uh, inflation or deflation and stuff like that and remember these these figures that you see they're they're gerrymandered so much you don't know whether what's right and what's wrong back in the old days in the 1970s when inflation was going crazy the first thing they did is they took out they took out food and energy out of the inflation thing to get the thing looking down i mean can you believe that and people people ate that stuff like tapioca they took out food and energy I mean, it was, and they said, oh, yeah, inflation's gone from 8%, oh, down to 4%. Well, that's almost livable. And people people fell for it. So that's neither here nor there. Let's move on to a couple of things that we want to talk about. Um, the, the big divergence, of course, still exists between the NASDAQ, the Russell, and all of the other. Russell is by far the one that looks, uh, you know, it's under a great deal of pressure, and it was again today. Uh, want to bring I don't know what's wrong with it it could be the indexing or whatever they're doing but somebody's been laying on these small cap stops for quite a while we hit the exact 61 percent of the whole move back here on the August the 8th you see the big move we had down and we had another move down today so that's telling us that we're we're getting ready for some type of a correction how big uh, I don't know. Uh, this I know. Whenever this cycle is finished, you know it's going to be a, a pretty nasty one. But how long it's going to take? Now, when we come back from the next segment, I'm going to be sharing some charts here that people sent me that I look interesting. I just bring them to your attention because they they show some uh, some cycles that may or may not happen. And uh, I, I think you should be aware of them. There's a lot of lines. There's a lot of packed pictures and stuff. But it gives a good description of what's going on in somebody's market. And uh, that's, uh, that's what we're looking at. The first one we'll look at here uh, is the NASDAQ. And as you can see here, this thing's been going on since uh, this goes all the way back. Uh, we're almost at the 30-year uh, we're, uh, we're mark, almost. Well, 27 years, but you can see these little uh, yellow bars here where the market broke out of, and we're against one of those right now. But you can see there's some type of a divergence here on the uh, oscillator that's there. I'm not sure. Oh, it's an RSI, and yeah, this a little bit, but I don't use the RSI. All I'm looking at is the pattern and the fact that it's been falling relatively well between the Keltner channels. And uh, whether that's going to continue or not, well, or you can call them Bollinger Bands, either one. And uh, that that would give you a pretty good idea that there's some type. We, we looked at this pattern in the NASDAQ, uh, of course, uh, you know, much closer because what we do is we try to look at it on an hourly basis or so, so that we're able to see that we're, we're uh, able to uh, – Give us some uh, le leeway when we, if we trade it, because it's such a wild one. You know, it's the pork bellies of the indices. But you see, it still hasn't made a higher high than August 5th. And of course, we had a pretty big break today. We come back a little bit, of course, but that's it. A lot of this is so much in the news, folks, that what they tell you and what is going on is so dramatic that I it just really is sad sometimes how people can uh, you know can, can say things in the news and. 
uh, I don't even, I don't have to give you an example as you hear them all day long. So I don't want to mess around with them too much. So if you have any questions, 877-927-6648. I've got a couple other graphs here that look pretty good. And uh, we want to watch those also uh, today when we come back from the break, which will be coming up shortly. And I'll be also doing the show at the 3 o'clock section uh, for Tom O'Brien today, where I'm going to be focusing on some stocks. We're going to look at some major stocks like Apple and some of the others, and some of the ones that have broken the three drive patterns like Microsoft. Look, uh Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, Mr. Z is asking a question here. Please comment below. Uh, what's, what's the comment about... Uh, is there a top ruling? Oh, he's asking about a top. Uh, you, there probably is, Mr. Z. I will I will make this comment. Whatever this top is, I'll never see the next one. I can promise you that. Um, well, I think I'm going to live to be 90, but I, I don't think you're going to see a higher top than this in a very, very long time. It has all the indications are there. Nobody's believing it. You know, there's just so many reasons why it may or may not happen. 
You know, I really don't know. But it, it, here's here's a perfect example. I, I, I did two charts. Let's look at the first one. First one is from someone I don't know who it is. It's a beautiful chart, but it's showing a possibility of a high. Now, back in 1929, there was a man named Roger Babson. He was basically the um, – who would you put him? He would be just like um, Leon Cooperman or one of the old time guys. It's uh, Warren Buffett. He was very close to Warren Buffett, very successful. And he predicted the high in July of that year. And they ran him into the ground. I mean, they literally did. And he was he was spot on and made a fortune on the way down. But he missed it by a good two months. But no one ever no one that they did. They didn't remember the September 13th. He warned them. You know, that there's something really bad coming to the to the market, and he, nobody would listen to him. But Roger Babson was extremely successful. He was so successful that he, he has a college named after him, the Roger Bab Babson College, and it's an institute. And the, uh, there's a story that he actually bought uh, – uh, uh, <laughs> I can't remember the dude's name uh, – who's the guy with the Ed, – not Edison. Who was the guy with the apple? Uh Oh gee, boy, this is this is sad when you when your mind can't remember that. The, the, Tom, not was. Uh, oh, Earl, what's the picture of that coin that you have, buddy? I can't remember the guy's name. Believe it or not, there you go, Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> I see, folks. I'm on medication. Isaac Newton. He has. He bought Isaac Newton's bed, and basically, you know, had this uh, Fibonacci spiral on the headboard. I saw a picture of it, but uh, in I, I never, never could track it down. But uh, that's what Bob Babson did. He was big into Fibonacci and other stuff. I'm, but he was very good. But they never let him live that down. The fact that he missed it by. Two months never bothered him, and and I don't want to be associated with the top. I really don't care. I did that back in '87. I got real lucky with the Astro stuff. Arch and I were on uh, the show with uh, Bill Griffith. I can't believe I could remember Isaac Newton's name. Okay, but anyway, that was one of the things that uh, you know that 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 you got to remember. It doesn't make any difference whether you pick the top or not, folks. It's how you how how you handle it. In between, you know, you got to you got to make money at this business, and that that's what this whole thing is about. That's why I really enjoy looking at the shorter term patterns. I mean, these are look at the look at this one. Uh, this is a perfect example of uh, of what we're looking at here in silver today. This was just one of those beautiful ones. Hey, we've got Mr. Anderson on the phone from Anderson Capital Management. Rich, how are you doing? Doing good. How are you doing, Larry? Just living the dream. Tell us about the grains, buddy. It looks like they've started back up again. Get, got wheat close to eight bucks. Right, and uh, our good friend Rick thinks uh, nine twenty before it ends. Wow, you I'll know? put that chart up to let the folks see because it's it's one big move here in wheat. That's for sure. We're talking about Rick Larusso, folks. He used to be was he with Smith Barney, wasn't he? All those years. Yeah, right. Yeah, he originally yeah, was, he really originally was at Hayden's. You know, oh, with yeah. um, Michael Marcus and Ed Sakota, yeah. Yeah. Nelson Chang, Paul Fine, Murray Marzeritz. I mean, yeah. some of these guys, you know, I was at Hornblower with Jack Swager and Bob Robins back in the day, and Jack wrote the Market Wizard books, and some of those guys yeah. are in the Market Wizard books. But yeah. I, I can remember sitting in Chicago with Robins and Swager. And it's a technical call. It's two thirty in the afternoon. They're going to do a technical call, and Robins is doing the support and resistance without looking at any charts, just from his head. Wow. The only time he looked at somebody asked him about lumber or something that he didn't normally follow, and then he went, actually went and looked at the chart. But everything else was strictly from his head. Wow, that's amazing. Well, tell us about the weather. We're in the middle of the time for the soybeans. The corn's pretty much done, so this is the the pollination time for for the uh, soybeans, isn't it, Rich? Well, the the, the, uh, the corn that pollinates uh, soybeans slower, but um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if if it starts to rain now, I've seen beans that look like weeds, dead weeds, and then it starts to rain in in late August and September, and you get a decent yield. The forecasts are for possibly three rain events starting this weekend into the upper Midwest, which would help the corn marginally but would help the beans a bunch. But what, what you don't see when you look at the board is that, like, uh, a week ago, one of my neighbors out in South Dakota, he sold corn for over a dollar over the board for delivery before September 1st in August. 
Wow. So, so you know, during harvest these last uh, two, three years, except for last year, cash corn in South Dakota would be 50, 60 cents under. So you could see the cash market go from a dollar over to maybe 20 under, and the board do nothing. The easy, you know, as uh, Amos uh, Hostetter said, the easy money's been made right now. Yeah, you know, that's Amos for was sure. Another one, you know, Michael Marcus went to Commodity Corps and made a fortune, and you know, Amos started helped start Commodity Corps. I mean, these are all legends. Yeah, but well, they certainly were, and they they still remain legends through all these years too. Uh, we have a, another question for one of our listeners, and that is, what is happening as far as the political thing of with this thing with Afghanistan? One of our listeners is asking, uh, what 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 do you think is going on there? Well, I don't know whether it's uh, grown uh, in ineptitude at the least, mm -hmm. um, and you know this is. Uh, this is Biden's Jimmy Carter moment, and we just hope and pray that it doesn't become, uh, you know, Iranian hostage moment. Oh, you know, yeah, well. I mean, they, 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 this 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 has been so poorly executed. Now, the the truth is that both Trump administration and the Biden administration saw the reality in the ground and realized that that, that you know it was time to just cut the losses and, and uh, go home mm -hmm. because, you know, the, we were training up our Army for 20 years and it given them the best equipment and the best training, and it just, it just wasn't happening. But the problem was in the execution of the leaving of the country and to, to decide, you know, we're going to do it just overnight. I mean, there, there are some uh, fantasy uh, reality thinking in the White House to think that— uh, Things weren't going to happen quickly. I mean, the, the gross incompetence, ineptitude and incompetence. I mean, that's the only two ways you can put it. Um, mm -hmm. it. It should have been executed better. And we just got to hope and pray that uh, we get our people out and, and our allies' people out. You know, we have a lot of uh, countries that were also working alongside us. And then all of a sudden, oh, we're leaving in, yeah. you know, three weeks. And then, yeah. and then the country falls. It's 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 a... It's a it's it's, a, it's mm -hmm. a Saigon moment for Biden and uh, mm -hmm. maybe a Jimmy Carter Iran moment. We hope not. Well, yeah, that's for sure. And there's so many administrations are responsible for it, spending all those trillions of dollars. Hey, thanks for joining us, Rich. We'll have you Bye. on again soon, buddy. Stay safe. Bye. 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 We'll be right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, uh, Mr. Z asked a question while Rich was out, and that was, is there a top brewing? And based on Fibonacci numbers, uh, I used to post this uh, thing from the Elliott Wave that showed that uh, 2021 had all the numbers, 34, 89, 55. I can't find it anymore, anymore Mr. Z, but in one of the newsletters, I put it in there two or three different times. It has all of them, 21 years, 34 years, all of those were in there. And it shows that 2021 as being something really very very important the question is when now i posted i posted a chart here just just now of the dow jones transportations and back in the old days when richard russell was alive i don't know if anybody took took over his company or not but you know he he talked about the dow theory and that means that you know the debt the transportations and the industrials have to go but remember they have a big deal now with the federal reserve these boys are out there with the unlimited pocketbooks and they're supporting a lot of this stuff and the question is who they selling it to you know do you ever stop and, and ask the question look this thing's going straight up no one no one says anything who's doing the selling do you, do, you, do you know who, who it is? Please, if you have any information, you know, let me know. This last run-up in the S&P, we used to have an interest rate uh, or open interest of around 3.2 million, and we're setting around 2.6, 2.7 right, right now. We, we've dropped half a million uh, contracts during this run-up. So some of that is short covering, but somebody's on the other side of this, and, you know, with the, with the uh, the margin on these things at fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars, it's not an easy, it's not an easy gig. It's probably not somebody, you know, trading a micro account. That's for sure. But somebody's got to be doing the other selling, doing the selling. So that's uh, something that I keep in mind. The reason why, the, the fact is, you'll you'll know when the top is in, folks. And it won't make any difference because there's going to be a big move in either direction. There'll be moves up and down. We're going to see volatility like we've not seen before. We're just beginning to see it. I mean, you're, we started this about a year or so ago. I just said that that VIX index, remember it was trading at 9 or 10, and I said, stay long that VIX because we're going to start seeing volatility these next few years that is going to be you know, really dramatic, and we're just starting to see it again too. So that's that's what we're paying uh you know, sort of paying attention to. So when the top does come in, it would be related to a standard deviation. Right now, in order for the market to even turn bearish in the S&P, it's got to go to uh, 4260, I believe, is the number. We, we hit, what, 44, uh, we had 4460. We've got to go to 4260. We've got to drop 200 handles to get down one standard deviation. And if we break that, then we'll have a pretty good idea. We have a really nice chart in the Dow Jones showing a high. We had one in the NASDAQ that's showing the high and one in the S&P showing a high. But that should be, that probably is going to be a short-term high. It's not going to be anything, you know, really big. You can tell by the news. Look at this. I mean, you, you would think with something like this, you'd be down 50, 60, maybe even 100 handles on the S&P with news like this. No one cares. And that's the that's market feedback that you know just be flat out careful because you don't know what's going to happen next and you know I certainly don't so 
Uh, and I and I'm aware of that. You know that that's one of my that's one of my one of my strongest assets that I don't know, and I don't need to know. All I have to need to know is when I see a pattern forming that I like. Let me just show you one here today, folks. We had a just absolute beautiful pattern here today for the 24/7. And remember, we're we're long silver. We uh, we we shorted the natural gas up there that. Uh, up around the 4, 420 level, 420. Uh, look at this beautiful pattern we had here in the uh, bean oil last night. Perfect A, B, C, D, just shy of the 78% level at uh, 6360. The market went all the way down, all the way down to 6150, okay? Uh, excuse me, 60, 62, excuse me, went to 6210, about $800, okay? And when that happened, I sent out a, uh, a special you know, email to let you know, put your stop at break even. You don't want to let this get to a losing situation. And even though the soybeans couldn't rally, the soybean oil did. It rallied and went sharply above, you know, where the where the number was. And that was, went up all the way up to 64 and change. And that's what you try to do is to handle, you know, what your losses are going to be. And that's going to keep you in the game. I know you could have made a nice profit. Maybe somebody did. Maybe somebody didn't. But that's what you're looking at. That's the main thing. Folks, someone asked me a question about cryptos. Uh, back in September, we were recommending, um, uh, John recommended buying the uh, Cardano at six cents. And I happen to know that some people that, that were in that, that thing did buy it and made a, a lot of money. One gentleman down in Texas, he bought it at six cents. And every time it went 10 cents higher, he bought it bought more, six, 16. He just kept buying more until it got above a dollar and then he let it go and uh, is still in it. And uh, he's made a, a substantial amount of money. Now, whether that's going to happen again, I don't know, but we'll be talking about it a little bit on, on Thursday when we, when, we do the, uh, when we do the show. So remind ourselves that that's what we're going to be paying attention to. If you have any questions here today, folks, it's 877-927-6648. Okay, the last, question, the last one I want to show you here comes from our friend over in the Valley of the Sun, over there in Las Vegas. I want to bring this up here to let you see it. This is about uh, index of consumer sentiment. Look at the difference, folks, and look where the market is compared to the consumer sentiment. I mean, this is uh, it's really amazing because consumer sentiment doesn't mean anything like it did before. And there's a lot of indices that look like that. So what you've got to do is you've got to decide, you know, what your time of reference is, how much you have to risk. And if you pick a top, sure, that's great. But no one really cares. I can promise you that. I've been, been through too many of them. But uh, it's not important. The main thing is it's to know, understand what your risk is on any particular trade that you're looking at, and you'll be able to see it. So that's uh, that's what we're paying paying close attention to as we look at some of these things, uh, some here today. Now, someone asked me a question about uh, one of the commodities that we follow. Just give me one second, and I will get it up here so we'll be able to see it pretty easily. Well, we got back to 4450 in the S&P. You have to love it, folks. Only in America can you get markets that react like this. This is about the Treasury bonds. Let me get this up here again. We'll be able to take a quick look at it here. Uh, we're having a really nice, strong rally here in the bonds here. I'll do a partial on it because I haven't got a lot of time to get this thing set up here. But we're setting right at the 61% retracement of that last move up there at 65 and change. Let me get this up here. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Give me a second here. I'm going to try to do it right this time. Oh, dear. Give me a, give me a minute here. Hold on. There we go. There, there's the bonds. We're trading at 65.08. We had a high. Of 6526, the uh, 786 retracement on this is was 166 even, but we had this really strong rally. This is a really important rally, folks, because if it can continue above here, and we get above that 16706, we could be looking at something that you can. Well, just to give you an example, let me get this up here. You can see what what ah, this darn computer. Hold on, here. there we go. Now I'll get it up here correctly. You can see if we can get this thing above that 167.16 level, that'll be a really valid breakout because there is an ABCD down there at that 162.15 level that we had on Thursday. And uh, that that could be very, and the fact that we're coming out here very powerful, you know, we went from 62 to 65, almost 66 in just a couple of days. That's a pretty big run. We're seeing the same thing in the Treasury notes, but whether that's going to mean anything longer term, uh, I don't know. All I know is we're going to be seeing some wild volatility.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart for Apple. We were chatting about it in the room here today. You can see here, we were expecting it to make a new high. I sent a video about this over the weekend because it had a real high probability of making that ABCD. And you can see the really wild range we've had today. But we did get up to that 150, uh, 151, uh, just a little above 150 uh, level, completing that small ABCD pattern. Remember, it's a relatively small one. But just give you an example about how the news works. Just all this bad news that came out with the market and everybody saying about what, it was the end of the bull market and stuff. Look at the S&P today, folks. All we did is we come down, we made a 61% of the low we made six days ago on August the 11th. So that's a major thing to uh, to keep in mind that uh, we, this is very, very important. By the way, that day uh, that we're doing on August the uh, 19th, the all-day session, that happens to be one of the major uh, astro days for the whole uh, – for the whole month, so that'll be that'll be some good volatility. So that's what we like to see. Anyway, you'll notice here that we've gotten back up to almost unchanged uh, 44.53. We've got a little bit more to go up there to get up there. Eh, it's a little bit higher than that. You got to get up to 44.60 to get it unchanged, but it's still probably heading there. Right now, we're right above the 61% retracement on the day easily. So there might be some resistance at the overnight high at 44.56, but right now it doesn't look very bearish. So keep in mind that sometimes these markets will surprise you. And if they don't, 
uh, you're going to be uh, very ready to talking about it. So we'll be moving here just one second here to, uh, uh, well, I think at the end of the show is coming up. I'll be doing Tom's show. We're going to be doing some stocks at noon. Uh, if you want to take a look at some of those, we'll look at a couple of the indices and some of the stocks uh, to try to make it interesting and a little different. So that's what we're paying attention to here today. If you're long the silver, stay long. If you're short the natural gas, stay long. And that's what we're looking at. We'll be looking at a buy here, possibly in the euro here in the next four or five days. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to